，大家好，我是 Sandra。So I have quite the obsession, <laughs> and um, yeah, it's getting to a problem when I'm in Taiwan and I don't have my art supplies, my crochet supplies, nor my knitting supplies. But before we move on to the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. And let's go. Okay, so you might be wondering what I mean by that, and that's the fact that I always need to do something with my hands, because otherwise I will go crazy. So, for example, I started doing my own nails, and that actually turned out pretty well, and it was a fun activity and stuff like that. But you can't really do your nails that often, which is too bad. <laughs> so then I kind of get bored, so I need stuff to do. So I thought of the great idea to start doing the Tunisian crochet. Because I've done crochet and I've done knits before, so I want to do the double-ended Tunisian hook, so that I can learn how to do that type of crochet and crafting. So I can make sweaters and tops and stuff like that. But the only thing is that I don't have any yarn nor any crochet hooks. So that's what I'm trying to find now. So apparently, I've been here before because, uh, like, it's close to Bayman, and the yarn store is right here. So that's perfect. They have a lot of yarn, so maybe this is more of a yarn place than a crochet store. We'll just have to see if they have any hooks. But it looks amazing because they have like so much stuff. Okay, so I found the crochet hooks I'm looking for, and I also found like a lot of yarn. So I bought like the cotton alpaca hair three rolls for thousand and eighty dollars. That's I don't. It's really cheap for the, that type of yarn, but then I checked out, and then they were like, "Oh, you need to pick a t-shirt yarn, and you can have 11 for free." So I have like a lot of yarn now that I don't know what to do with. So I'll probably make projects for the kids. Okay, so they have a lot of stuff. So I'll probably come back here because this place is pretty cool. But now I have to carry. Oh wait, all of this home. That's gonna be a bit difficult, but it's fine. I actually wanted to go and eat at a place, but this is not very practical anymore. So I'll just have to uh, get home first, drop off my stuff, and then maybe I can eat something. Ooh, yeah, I made it to the MRT station. Although it feels like my arms are gonna break off, so they're like shaking. Because <laughs> one of those rolls of t-shirt yarn is like one kilo. And I have 11 of them, plus a little bit of uh, alpaca yarn as well. I don't actually have any idea what you can do with this much t-shirt yarn. So please comment down below if you have any ideas. But I think I want to make something cool of it. So I need to do some research before I can actually know. But now since I'm at the MRT, it feels like I can breathe a little bit. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be a little nice to myself, so I'm gonna go grocery shopping first because I only need two things and then I could go buy boba on the way and then I could get my dumplings! I'm not sure if I want to eat there or if I want to eat at home, but we'll see how tired I am because now I can still like barely hold up my arm without it being really heavy. Okay, so I've been in the store for like five seconds and I've already got stuff that's not on the list. I got the apple tea. Well, they had the twinings bags, but that was like three times the price of this one. So I'm gonna see if this one's any good. And then I got raspberry jam. Because they were not on the shopping list, but we don't have any jam anymore at home. And that tea is like Christmas vibes 100%. And since I've started re-watching Gilmore Girls, this is kind of a must. Okay, but we apparently don't have to worry about me too much because I got everything I needed anyways and it was still pretty cheap, so I think it's okay. But now I'm gonna get my boba at the classic 50 shop. Okay, so we got the regular bubble tea with normal ice, 50% sugar. 
it's just like a solid little bit. But next time I eat at this place, I'll probably uh, have the beef noodle since I've heard that it's supposedly really good. So that's what I'm gonna do. And my seems like my arms are calming down a little bit, which is pretty good. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to make it at all. Okay, so here we have the Korean style pan fried dumplings. I really love these. These are probably my absolute favorites from this dumpling place. So this is the dumpling place I always go to. Although I know that they have a lot of places that are not chains. But they're a bit harder for me to find. And uh, what I've been told is that the chains have like solid quality. So we're gonna do a taste test, even though I know that this kind of tastes good anyways. I don't know if you can see, but it's like super savory. And it has a medium spicy filling. And that's like what I really love it. This is like what I always order. Although, is there anything you think it's better for me to order at this place? And don't say beef noodles because I already know. But if there's any other like dumpling styles. So the flavor is really good because it's a little spicy, a little salty, some garlic. Perfect. Because something you might not know about me is that I love Korean style food. Because you have the acidity, you have the saltiness, and you have the spicy, like the little kick. So ever since I was really little, uh, my mom and I always made kimchi at home. To, because I don't like the bought kimchi, like the store bought kimchi, because it's not sour enough. Um, but I do like the kimchi style or kimchi inspired dumplings because they're really good. Now I've had the last piece. I think it's a 4.5 out of 5 because I really like the flavor. Although the 05 is, if it was crispier, then it would have been chef's kiss. So now I'm finished eating and I think I'll probably go home and try to figure out something to do with the crochet. That's all I had for you today. But if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. Please like and always comment if you have any suggestions for future videos. Hello, and I'll see you in the next one.